Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, ang topic natin today is about polynomial equations. So, bago tayo mag-start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon upang updated kayo sa mga videos na na-upload ko. So, this is Sir Chad, your math along and mentor. Let's begin! Okay, bago mag-start, let us first describe what is a polynomial equation. A polynomial equation is a special kind of algebraic equation where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of constants and variables raised to the whole number exponents. It is defined by a sub n, x raised to n, plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x n minus 2 plus and so on plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 is equal to 0 where n is a positive integer the largest exponent n denotes the degree of the polynomials okay Medyo mahaba yung description natin ng polynomial equation. So, para mas maintindihan ng bawat isa, magbibigay tayo ng mga examples ng polynomial equation and examples ng hindi polynomial equations. Let us give example number 1. We're in negative 11 plus x raised to 4 minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Ang sabi natin, ang a polynomial equation can be denotes as a sub n, x raised to n minus 1, plus a sub n minus 1 raised to x n minus 1, plus a sub n minus 2, x raised to n minus 2, plus so on and so forth, plus a sub 1, x, plus a sub 0. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag nating form of a polynomial where a sub n must not be equal to 0 and the exponent of x must not a negative integer. Okay, so try nga natin gawin or ilagay natin sa decreasing order itong given nating polynomial equation. Ano ibig ko sabihin sa decreasing order? Kailangan, ang nasa unahan is yung highest exponent hanggang mawala yung variable which is x. So, para dito, sa equation na to, magiging x raised to 4 minus 3x squared minus 11 is equal to 0. So, baka may mga tanong, bakit po hindi nagbago yung sign ng 3x squared tsaka ng 11? Eh, lumipat po sila ng posisyon. Hindi nagbago ang sign nila kasi hindi sila lumiban ng equal sign. Kung pupunta sila dito, pagiging positive si negative 11. Pero as you can see, nandito pa rin sila sa side na to. Okay? Then this will be now the decreasing order of the given polynomial equation. Decreasing order, or you can also call it a descending order. Ibig sabihin, pababa ng pababa yung exponent natin. Mula sa 4, naging 2, tapos nawala na tayo ng x. Okay, after nating pagsunod-sunodin, tingnan naman natin kung ano yung degree of the polynomial. What does it mean to find the degree of the polynomial? So, ang degree ng polynomial is basing kung ano ang highest exponent ng given equation. And based dito, ano ba ang highest exponent natin? So, meron tayong exponent na 4. Therefore, ang degree of the given polynomial will be 4. So, sulat ko dito, this is on the 4th degree. Kasi, as exponent is 4. Kung siya ay 10, so 10th degree. Kung ano lang yung highest exponent na variable. Next, after finding the, the degree of the polynomial, we must need to know kung ano ba yung value ni leading coefficient. So, ano naman si leading coefficient? Leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the variable which has the highest term or the highest exponent rather. So, given dito sa given polynomial equation, ano ang highest exponent natin? So, 4. And meron tayo x raised to 4. Ano ang kanyang 
numerical coefficient. Zero ba? Hindi siya zero. Siya ay one. Hindi lang natin sinusulat kasi one lang din naman siya. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating leading coefficient will be one. Napakasimple. After that, hanapin naman natin kung ano yung constant term. Constant term pertains to the number in a given polynomial equation which has no variable beside it. So, kung makikita natin, alin dito sa mga terms na to ang walang kasamang x? Sino yung walang x? So, meron tayo dito negative 11. Wala siyang x. Therefore, ang ating constant term will be negative 11. Don't forget the sign. Okay? Napakasimple lang malaman kung isang polynomial or hindi, ah, isang given equation. So, give pa tayo ng isa pang example. Give tayo example number 2. 8x cubed plus x raised to 6 minus 6x to 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, first, lagay natin siya sa decreasing order or the descending order. So, mangyayari lang dyan, nasa unahan, yung variable na may highest exponent and then hanggang sa mawala na yung variable na x. So, una dito is, of course, 6. Kasi siya yung pinaka-highest exponent. Next, meron bang x raised to 5? Wala. So, meron tayong x raised to 4. So, 6, x raised to 4. Next, meron tayong 3 plus 8x cubed. Next, meron tayong plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this will be the decreasing order of the given polynomial equation. After that, ano ang ating degree of the polynomial? So, ano yung highest exponent? 6. Therefore, our degree of polynomial will be 6 degree. Kasi, highest exponent natin is 6. Next, ano naman yung ating leading coefficient? Ano ang numerical coefficient ng ating highest exponent variable? So, meron tayong 1 again. So, ang ating leading coefficient So, ang leading coefficient natin will be 1. And now, what is our constant? So, ang constant natin, alin yung walang kasamang x? So, meron tayong 1. So, positive 1. Napakasimple ng ating given polynomial equation. Next example tayo. Next example, number 3. So, given as x cubed minus 6x raised to negative 2 minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. First, let us describe or determine if this given polynomial, uh, this given mathematical expression is a polynomial equation or not. So, based sa sinabi natin, a sub n must not equal to 0. So, a sub n is here. Yung, yung, yung numerical coefficient ng ating highest exponent variable and the exponent must not be a negative number. So, kung makikita nyo, meron tayo dito negative number na exponent. Therefore, si number 3 is not a polynomial equation. So, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin yung degree, hindi natin kailangan hanapin yung constant term, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin yung leading coefficient kasi hindi naman siya polynomial equation. So, last example tayo. So, x minus 3 times x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 0. So, let us determine if this is a polynomial equation or not. So, meron ba tayong negative exponent? So, wala naman. So, ibig sabihin, it is a polynomial equation. So, kailangan natin silang pagsunod-sunod rin ng highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So, paano natin mapagsusunod-sunod? E, meron tayong dalawang binomial, tapos yung isang binomial naka-square pa. So, ang gagawin natin, isisimplify natin sila. 
So you can express this mathematical expression as x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So kung pagtatimesin ko to, so x minus 3, x minus 2 times x minus 2, so for in method lang, x times x is x squared, then x times negative 2 is negative 2x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, equals 0. x minus 3 times x squared, negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4x, plus 4 is equal to 0. Tapos na ba siya? Of course, hindi pa. Bakit? Kasi meron pa tayong multiplication na kailangan gawin. So, si x, i-distribute din natin sa lahat ng terms. And si negative 3, of course, i-distribute din natin sa lahat ng terms. So, x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared. x times positive 4 is positive 4x. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 4x is positive 12x. Negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12 is equal to 0. Next, arrange natin siya in a descending order. x cubed minus 4x squared. So, meron tayong isa pang x squared. Ah, oh, sorry. Squared to. Minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 12x minus 12 is equal to 0. Tandaan ha, hindi nagbabago yung sign kasi hindi naman sila lumiliban sa equal sign. So, pagsamahin yung magkakaparehas na terms. So, x cubed, negative 4x minus 3x squared, ah, negative 4x squared minus 3x squared is negative 7x squared. 4x plus 12x is positive 16x. Then, meron tayo, negative 12 is equal to 0. Therefore, this will be our polynomial equation. Now, let us determine what is the degree of the polynomial equation. Squared ba? Hindi. Kasi, meron tayong cube. Therefore, ang ating degree is on the third degree. Or, na, or degree of 3. Next, what is the leading coefficient? Ano yung numerical coefficient ni x cubed? So, meron tayong 1. So, a leading coefficient is 1. Tandaan, pwede hindi maging 1 yan ha. Pwede yung maging 4x cubed. So, therefore, your leading coefficient will be 4. Pwede... 5x. So, leading coefficient mo will be 5. It will be defending kung ano yung value na nasa tabi ni x cubed or nung variable na merong highest exponent. Next one, ah, hanapin natin ngayon, is yung ating constant. So, alin dito sa mga terms na to ang walang kasamang x? So, si 12. Pero merong minus. Therefore, our constant will be negative 12. Napaka-simple, di ba? Very good. Good job! Good job! Good job! That's all for today, everyone. So, napaka-simple lamang ng polynomial equations. At napaka-dali. So, kayang-kaya niya lamang yun. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video tutorial na ito. Don't forget to like and leave some comments, suggestion, or questions in the comment section below. Also, you can directly message me on my Facebook page. Just type at SirChad TV capital S C and also yung TV Again, this is Sir Chad your math and mentor Hope to see you again on our next videos Thank you and goodbye